aggressively against a tough defense, both by the run and they dumped it off by the pass. So they really, if it was two and out, it would be a tough situation for them. But Billy Joe Tolliver is starting to show like he's got a little confidence. Patton has got some confidence. And as soon as those guys start happening, that big offensive line up front can make a lot of things happen. Boris Gregg spent 14 years with the Green Bay Packers, played in 187 consecutive games. Nine times straight all pro. And on first down, Blue Bombers letting the ball fly in the air. Anthony Shelton with the tackle. Reception made by and Gerald Wilcox. Wilcox. One of the first receptions that this receiver has made since coming back. He's missed four games. And I talked with him a little bit in the hotel right before. He says, I'm not worried about catching the ball. I'm not worried about my feet, but I'm worried about a little bit about my conditioning. And am I able to be able to sustain running the way that I have to run in this kind of heat? Gain of six yards, second down and four from the 41. Slack rolling to the near side. Looks like there was a miscommunication problem there. No receiver in sight. Fred Ward closest man to the football. Joe Wilcox was also in the vicinity, and it looked like he, as Reggie Slack was coming out to sprint out, he was looking for that slot back just to run down, kind of hook it up, and then slide to the outside. But that just didn't happen. Miscommunication. You see Forrest Gregg giving a little bit of instructions there. Coach Gregg won five NFL championship rings with the great Green Bay Packer teams. Right now, his team is leading three to nothing. Bob Cameron sending it away. This one angled toward the near side. Freeman Basinger from the 25. And Basinger will go backwards. Basinger on the return. Paul Randolph on the tackle for Winnipeg. Paul Randolph makes the tackle for Winnipeg. The veteran linebacker. So the Pirates come back onto the field. Billy Joe Tolliver. And for a quarterback that's played in the NFL, what are the, the main differences between what he sees in the National Football League as opposed to here in the Canadian Football League? Well, obviously the main difference is going to be that extra defensive back that you're going to see. But I think what you're not going to be used to is some of the speed of these defensive linemen, the way they're going to get off that ball and get in your face in a hurry. And that really does put, pose a problem for Tolliver. Junior Smith carrying the ball on first down, the rookie running back out of East Carolina. Bill McCollins with the tackle. And a number of the players here on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers team have played in the Mississippi Delta. Had a chance to speak to a very interesting man in the hotel this week. Yeah, we sure will. And I tell you what, we'll pick up on that.